this is code.org, do this. This program imports data from states and table and filters it. The top part filters to get only the states that have been added to the United States since the year 1900. Ah, that's a few Alaska, Hawaii. Um, was Dakota's territory? Anyways, uh, update the program to print the list of states that have a population of 1 million, of less than 1 million. Use the code that filters the states by their admission date. Let me first run this. Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, New Mexico, Oklahoma. Huh, cool. All right, and so that's those. Now, where is it getting this from? It's talking about this, right? So var state list is equal to git column US states state name. So this data section, they have US states, git, git column from what? US states, what am I getting? The state's name. Let me click on this. US states, state name. And so we create a list or an array of from that, the whole column of data, and then of the years we do. So we grab years as well and do that. Cool. All right. Now what they want, use the code that filters admission date as an example. Okay, so once we have those two items, what do we do? Well, they, like we have been, we get two variables, state and year, and we have a for loop. All right, this again, real quick. So i is equal to zero. i is less than the length of our state list. And each time we loop, we add one to i. So is zero, since i is equal to zero, is zero less than the length of the state list. Yeah, because that would be 50. So zero is less. So we dip into our loop. We now say state list i, well, it's i zero. So that's the zero index. So whatever is at the zero index of this, which would be Alabama. So now name state is going to be state list i, which is going to be the state name. So the state will be equal to Alabama here because that's at zero index. Whatever year it's inducted, Alabama, will go here, right? So whatever year is admission 1819, so then year list, right? We got the whole year list. So index of 0, 1819. Now it says if year is greater than 1900, 1819 is not greater than 1900. So we skip this, hit the bottom, i equals i plus 1 or i plus plus. So we add 1 to i. So is one less than state list length? Yes. So we dip into the loop, state list one, whatever index is at one, whatever item, Alaska, and then we grab its year and we check. Now Alaska, interestingly enough, equals 1959. 1959 is greater than 1900, so we that is true. We run the code in the if statement, append item since 1900 list, which is created here, it's an empty list, Append means add to, so we smack on the back of, we add it to state. And what was state? State's equal to the state name at index one right now. Index one is Alaska. So now we have one item on our list. We hit the bottom and we continue to go. All right. So now they want in this stateless length, stateless population. Do we grab the population? Yes. So now they grab the population for us. What we need to do is be comparing. So let's go ahead and use an if. Let me shrink that down. If, and just like they're doing here, we want to check a variable. So if population is less. So I'm going to do this and population. And this is working the exact same. They already filled it in for us, but we're looping through all the data. Population will be equal to the state at that index. And then if its population is less than 1 million, so we can't. We shouldn't have commas here. I'm going to do one, one, two, three, one, two, three, because one million. If it is less than a million with less than one million, what do we want to do? Well, we want to use that append here. Append to what? Well, small population list. I'm just going to copy and paste because it's long. But this empty list, we're going to say append to this list. Add this state, the state that has less than that amount of population, to our list. We're adding state. So we use the population index. We have two arrays, two lists. One is of all the state names. The other one is all the population. We grab the state name, then we grab the population at index one, two, three, whatever. 
and they will be the same state. So at index zero is the state's name, right? At index zero of population would be that state's population. We then check if the population is less than a million. If it is, we say, great, grab that name and add it to our list of less than a million. And then it should have, I'm just going to go to this empty space. Yep, we have a council log to print it all out. Cool, let's try. Alaska, Delaware, North Dakota, South Dakota, Vermont, and Wyoming. We are looking good. Cool. Onward.